Hello everyone, welcome once again to Geospatial Tutorial. Today let us see how to increase or enhance the spatial resolution of a digital elevation model using simple spatial interpolation techniques. The digital elevation models available for free of cost in Bhuvan or Earth Explorer will be having a spatial resolution of 30 meter or 60 meters. If you have to get a higher resolution digital elevation model, say of 10 meters, you will have to pay and buy such product from the service providers. Here I have a digital elevation model and let us see what is the spatial resolution of this digital elevation model. Just zoom it to the extent where you see individual pixels and how do we measure the spatial resolution of a satellite image or digital elevation model is just the amount of ground that is covered in one single pixel that's uh, the simplest way I can express the spatial resolution of an image or a digital elevation model once you have brought it to the level of pixel just go to the scale here and click on that click on the one end of the pixel and draw it till the other end and put it there stop it there and you can see that the measurement whatever you see over here is a 30 meter for this pixel so of course it is showing 31 if you zoom it further and exactly measure the distance from one point to the other point with a straight line it will be 30 meters so how do we enhance this uh, 30 meter spatial resolution into say 10 meters. I have designed a method of my own to enhance the spatial resolution of uh, this uh, digital elevation model. However, disclaimer is that the accuracy is not same as an original 10 meter resolution digital elevation model. It is just a spatial uh, interpolation technique that will derive its value from the neighboring pixels and give you an output of higher resolution. The primary reason for doing this is for many applications you will have to use a high resolution digital elevation model which is not available for free. So what we'll be doing is we'll be just enhancing the spatial resolution of this particular digital elevation model whereas the accuracy of the resultant image will be same as the accuracy of a 30 meter image so if you are looking for a high accurate high resolution digital elevation model it is always advisable that you go ahead and buy the satellite product now that we have a digital elevation model make sure that your digital elevation model is georeferenced and it is projected and it is always advisable that you have your digital elevation model in UTM coordinate system here you can see UTM coordinate system it is in terms of meters primary reason for this is that it is uh, easy for you to define the cell size when you are eventually defining the output file in case if you do not have it in UTM, if it is in GCS, WGS84 uh, format or the projection system, what you will need to do is convert the projection system into UTM which is explained in other video in this channel. So let us see what do we do further. Now let us go to ARC toolbox and we have to go for conversion tools because any interpolation generally will happen from feature not from a raster so you'll have to convert this into vector format and let us see where we will be converting it into what let's go to from raster you'll be converting from raster because whatever you having is a raster image and here you have a lot of options whereas we are interested in converting from raster to point let's go there so your input raster is your uh, dem 
m of 30 meter resolution and the field you have to keep it as value because uh, every pixel in your image will be having the value of elevation and you can define your output uh, features and I will uh, mention it as uh, dem vector I am naming it as uh, dem vector so your uh, process has commenced what uh, it is primarily doing is uh, it is taking the center point of each pixel and plotting a point and it is assigning the elevation value of that pixel into that particular point and here is your uh, feature let's go to table of content and uh, hide the digital elevation model and go to these points so these are the center points of every pixel of your digital elevation model you want to see the values you can just uh, right click on the feature and go to attribute table and you see here that your grid code is your elevation value you can see it is varying so your each pixel has been converted into a point now using these points you will be interpolating the elevation values to get a higher resolution depth and let us go to spatial analyst and there you have an option called uh, interpolation just double click on that and you have a lot of uh, interpolation techniques you can uh, select IDW generally that is supposed to be the best and you can uh, just go through your uh, uh, online uh, materials uh, to understand what exactly is IDW or Kringling or natural neighbor so let us uh, see what are the input points input points are a dem vector that you have uh, just uh, converted and Z value field is not point ID we have seen that the elevation values are stored in grid code so let us click on that and define an output raster I will uh, define output raster as uh, dem 10 because it is 10 meter uh, resolution dem that we are planning to create just click save and here is your cell size by default it has considered it to be 4040 this is your spatial resolution let us change it to 10 because you are looking for 10 meter resolution dem all other things you can consider as default and click ok now your interpolation has just commenced here is your uh, interpolated result you can uh, zoom to full extent and see how does it uh, look like you can uh, go to table of content and uh, remove all other things this is your uh, newly interpolated digital elevation model but however it is in grid format you will have to convert it into the format that you are looking at say TIFF or IMG so that you will get the exact digital elevation model so what it would have primarily done is it would have taken the elevation values of individual points that we have seen and interpolated using IDW techniques since the points were equally spaced the interpolation would have been rather simple that it would have just added nine points instead of one point with equally spacing since you have increased the spatial resolution or the cell size from uh, three to one that is uh, enhancing it by three times so you are uh, every single pixel will be enhanced to nine pixels so this is not all as I have told we have to go back to the table of content and do a right click here and data and export data here you can define the name of the data 
that you want to export so i'll keep it as uh, dem101 uh, uh, tiff now your interpolated uh, result has been exported to the format that you are looking at however you can uh, uh, retain this uh, in, in the same format even without exporting if you are using it only in the applications like arc map if you are uh, using it in any other application in that case you will have to export it so there is a difference between uh, these two primarily because the classification uh, technique that we have used is uh, different here you can make it as stretched and again your uh, interpolated result that you can see here the interpolation result is this one so if you go to symbology in the properties and change it to stretched your the interpolation result also will turn out to be same as the exported result so you can just export it and get the result that you are looking at now that you had a digital elevation model of 30 meter resolution you have measured earlier now that we have got the final result and it is exactly looking like the image that we have started with with very minor changes because of the interpolation let us go and see the spatial resolution of this particular image let's zoom it to the pixel level and you have got this measure tool click on the beginning of a pixel and stretch it till the end and there you go in your measure you have the measurement as 10 meters this is the new spatial resolution of your digital elevation model So what you have done now is you have uh, interpolated a 30 meter digital elevation model into a 10 meter digital elevation model. This you can use it for any purpose that requires a higher resolution digital elevation model. But as I have told, this will not be as accurate as an original 10 meter resolution digital elevation model. So if you are looking at a very accurate high resolution digital elevation model please do go ahead and buy it from the service providers that's all about uh, digital elevation model and enhancing its spatial resolution thanks for watching